Hi there. Um, not really sure where my thoughts will lead me, but I'm just gonna brainstorm a little about uh, the situation in the world, how it's going, what I'm seeing, what strange sights and stuff. First off, all this uh, stuff with the elites and people rising up against them. Then these words about, at least in America, there are these concentration camps. And there's talk about trillions being <laughs> uh, just disappearing into nothingness first appearing out of nothingness <laughs> and there's this talk about these mass arrests but I'm not really seeing anything happening yet well, Malaysia has again uh, put Bush on trial, which is at least something. And what else? Oh yes, the alien disclosure story. It's supposed to be uh, pretty soon that there will be aliens appearing on our television sets. I'm not making this up myself, truly. And, well... All in all, we've been... lied to, cheated, and... for, like... Well, ever since societies started appearing, I guess. I'm guessing there might have been a time where we were free, truly free beings that just enjoy life, you know. And possibly we had our mishaps and and accidents and traumas and but we knew why we were here and somehow we started this civilization we know right now and if you look at it it's on the surface it looks nice I mean We've created a lot of shit. But somehow we lost our touch with nature, and that's something obvious. And when you look back in history, Suspicion should rise that it has been done on purpose. Mm, let's talk about aliens in our past. Much talk about it. There's even strong evidence that points towards it. I've discussed this few days ago and a strange thing that keeps crossing my mind is they build all this stuff, right? They've been here, right? 
flew their ships or whatever, how they got here, if it's inside of the world or whatever. Somehow they got here. Through our imagination, I don't know. I really do not know, but evidence suggests that one thing is for sure that the humans have had way more knowledge about how to at least build shit. I mean, look at all these monuments, these megaliths, these. Uh, with the big fucking stones, we can't even dream to get off their prices intact and directed. Of course, we can <laughs> shove a stone off of Stonehenge for sure. Probably, we just have to push. That's not a hard thing to do. No, but actually moving such a stone and placing it exactly as you want it to be that's beyond us hmm. so makes you wonder where are their tools They're gone. There is not one trace of anything remotely resembling the tools to build these buildings. Nothing. So, if it's true. Oh, but there were aliens, one might be able to explain it. They took their tools and pfft, for some reason ran off. And didn't bring back the tools at least. Weird, why would you do that? So, the other explanation could be they went underground, maybe literally, but at least off the map, somehow, for thousands of years. Think about that. I'm willing to bet that there are still factions, parts of them, the creatures that were here, that are still here. I cannot fathom why how a civilization of humans that went before us, that built these magnificent buildings all over the world, why they would somehow destroy their tools that made these extraordinary monuments. And they are all over the world. I think that question goes beyond the why they were built, because they were built 
the monument something. <sighs> Obviously. Stories go that you can um, reach God with a lot of these pyramids we find all over. We have our religions that tell us about beings coming from the skies, from the heaven. Literally. <laughs> there are so many evidence that they were here. Did they ever leave? And if they ever left, why the fuck did they leave? Why be on one side benevolent? And then hightail your ass out of here. And not coming back. I mean, you can hightail out of here because there is some kind of catastrophe going on. I mean, yeah, we have the story, so possibly, very possibly, they were true. <laughs> Coming from all over the world. Yeah. The big flood, uh, I don't know. But then you'd return. Why not? Ah, oh, things have settled down. Let's go back. <coughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? The stories go that, that they let us uh, mine for, for gold. There's plenty of gold left. Plenty of reason to stay. Isn't there some, some kind of scandal going around about this 15 trillion dollars that been produced for, what was it, 7500 tons of gold, which is missing? Which, according to some, wasn't even there. What is this bullshit? I mean, Miburu needs gold, and all of a sudden, our gold is gone. What the fuck is this bullshit? Are we truly just slaves for another? Planet's inhabitants? I don't know. But thing is, the more you think about these sh shitty things that's happening right now in this world. Not just the stories that go around, I mean, just look. Look at the multitudes of, of weird shit happening in nature, in our societies. It just does not add up. There's A big puzzle piece missing. We are not seeing people. <laughs> and that piece, I fear, is pretty fucked up dangerous. <sighs> There's talk about this end times from the Mayan. Uh, calendar. There's a lot of um, prophecies, not from the Mayan calendar, mind you. I heard just lately, but I don't know. 
And later people uh, said they had contact with other beings like uh, the, the Egyptian god Toth. And other creatures and beings that, that tell of some disastrous shit which can happen or ascension <laughs> why the hell did we disconnect? <laughs> I mean, what the fuck did we think? If that's true, I don't know, man. I'm just baffled by all of this. I mean, why does it baffle me? Not because I believe all that stuff, but because I know a lot of people do believe in... Uh, different people believe in different parts of the story, I'm telling you. One strong thing always comes to mind when they shout, Oh, we are one, we should reunite. It's the famous words of Julius Caesar, <laughs> divide and conquer. But to what purpose? I mean, it's st stupid. You know what I mean? Okay, you have power, wah wah wah. Now you get everybody to do what you want. Whoop the fucking do. Now what? What the fuck? What's next? I mean, let's say one of these freaky psychopaths gets what he wants, not not for real he gets what he wants and people just like machines without ever even wanting to rebel because well they are provided and whatever they are brainwashed to think that it's alright to listen to him What the fucking purpose would you want to do that? I mean, to mine and shit, I mean... If you know there is going to be evolution and... The creature you created, that's... A lot of... Religious texts tell us happened take the bible i take a rib of myself and in this rib a bone there's bone marrow we now know dna and that, that, that kind of bullshit did you honest to god think there is this dude who ripped out a rib of himself and shoved it in the earth and pissed on it or whatever or magically just made it grow into a human? <laughs> we have created a sheep, I think. Without a mother or, the, or a father. <laughs> I mean, if we can make a sheep, we can make a human. Don't fucking kid yourself. That's bullshit. But recently they've figured out something. That you can take particularly, particular uh, uh, cells. Not just DNA, cells. And you can program them in some scientific, magical way <laughs> to grow. Okay, 
voice, that's what I heard. <laughs> As you know and I know, <laughs> you can't rely on that. If all is said and done, question remains. What is the purpose of having a beehive, an anthill? Because if you're going to have an anthill full of slaves, your own society is going to be just as an enslaved as is this is an society you enslave. I mean, we have realized this a long time ago. And I don't get it. Why don't we just stop doing it? We don't need a government to tell us what to do. The government that tells you what to do is fucking up. Mm, that's global. And the government that's fucking shit up for you has been doing so from the beginning of time. Because we are incompetent to be enslaved. We are free. We always have the choice to say, fuck you, do what you want. I'm not going to be intimidated and not do what you want me to do. No matter what. Even if you kill my whole fucking family or whatever. And leave me want. You know, like a Metallica clip. Dude, with chopped off legs and arms and all the you know, most terrible thing I can imagine. No, death sure isn't that. <laughs> now, but that's just crazy talk, of course. Don't, don't even bother thinking about that. Now, what we need to realize is one thing. Not all is good, even though everything is one. That's something I can. I'm hard to press, hard pressed to, uh, to to say it's it's not so. I mean, think of it. We we are. Molecules that comprise a body, right? That's what science has proven you. That's what you believe. That's what you think is fact. Right. Science has also told you everything else is also made up of this. Even the air around you. Right? Still with me? So physically, on this planet, everything is physically connected. Constantly, always, unstopping. So there you have it, plain and fucking simple. <laughs> we are, as the bacteria are to us, so are we to the earth. And we're making her shake. Ill, badly ill. What the fuck is wrong with us? Wake the fuck up again.
connect again to the fucking divinity where we somehow lost. You know what it is. It's, this is something you cannot deny. You cannot deny that everything is physically connected, at least on this planet. But I guarantee you it goes far beyond that. They say space is a void. <laughs> but there are rays coming through, uh, what, what's it called, cosmic rays? And somehow these planets <laughs> stay on course? I mean, come on! Are you really that stupid to believe that bullshit? That fucking fairy tale? <laughs> we are connected on levels you can easily imagine. And that's something new to hear. It's easy to imagine. Because you have been taught this same basic principle in school. You just didn't understand the real implications of this. <sighs> so, what does this all have to do with extraterrestrials? I mean, and and the the elites trying to suppress us into some kind of slavery i guess <laughs> i mean what's even more mind boggling is why are we even willing to let that happen to us to be enslaved by People that call themselves the elites and the Illuminati and all that bullshit names. I don't even believe that is the end of it. I mean, there's gonna be a shadow government behind the shadow government. Don't think about that. Because they're gonna get you. I mean, how freaky paranoid do you have to get to get to the bottom of this? Is there a bottom? I mean, what the fuck is happening? Why do we do this bullshit to each other and ourselves? I have not an answer. Yet. But we'll think about the questions that rise up from these musings and spout out some more bullshit, of course. <laughs> Let's just say there's a big mystery and, well, we need to solve it together with all our intelligence and we need to stop fighting each other, that's for sure, because we're fucking ourselves. And we need to stop worrying about money and start worrying about um, surviving again. Because it's that time, I guess. Mm, that's, I guess, enough ramblings for one day. I don't know.
See you later.